my people are not feel laugh. Hmm. I go, man, I just watch this video and I will see prominent Yoruba actors, people like the likes of Baba one day, they don't come out, don't they come cry. <laughs> and some elders for Undo State, SDP, they don't come out. See message where they send to Achiwaji Bola to go. Guys, the man don't talk too much. You can just watch this video. <laughs> I know and I know some people they say, na shege banza, na inde rain now. I don't want you to use shege banza. This one is shege pro max. Guys, my let you now watch this video. Don't forget to share this video as so they do and our giveaway still they intact. For the correct people demo. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't think what we'll go do at bad donation later. We'll oh, be sorry for them, guys. <laughs> I will say, on guy, eh? they say don't they use their intestine, they do the did, 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 they tight. No be uh, twist, twist, they're they very, you know, easy now, nah. they, they lose. But now, Didi, now on guy, don't they use their stomach to make us see. I'm going to share, 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 share. Later, oh, thanks for watching. Now, His Excellency Peter will be showed he was superior to other presidential candidates from the interviews he granted prior to the campaigns. And when the campaign started, Obi showed he had a perfect understanding of the problems of Nigeria and how to solve them. He kept hammering that the 2023 election was not about tribe and religion. He said hunger, insecurity, unemployment, poverty, and other problems of Nigeria don't know tribe and religion. Obi said Nigeria was at a brink and needed rescue and he warned about the danger of making a wrong choice because of tribe and religion. While Tinubu anchored his campaign on tribe, religion and Emiloko, a statement that underscores pure greed. But to be fair, many Yoruba saw through Tinubu. They knew he was there for himself, so they refused to vote him. But there were also many Yorubans who bought into the tribal sentiment thing and went ahead to vote him and even help him hijack Obi's mandate. Now, look at where we are. Look at what is happening in Nigeria now. Poverty, pain, squalor, hunger everywhere. And his supporters in Ondo State, Southwest, cried out yesterday. They said, we did not vote for Tinubu so that he will kill us. After Buhari had dealt with us. <laughs> and now, prominent Yoruba men are coming out to complain about the Tinubu regime. They said Tinubu is not thinking. Watch this video by the presidential candidate of SDP, a Yoruba man, Adewole Adebayo. See, I seem to describe the 50 days of Tinubu. This is the consequence of the vote you voted. And it's too early to cry now because... Actually, the real problem hasn't come. But when these problems come, we should solve them as a country. We should not see it as a potential of politics. President Tinubu is taking certain measures, which are legacy measures of what he met on the ground. His own policies have not come out. When they come out, you will see that there are complications there because you have to run an economy. It is one thing to win. You can be an expert in winning elections, but you have to be an expert in running a, gov a government. And I haven't seen that expertise yet. Uh, maybe when their cabinet comes out and they start to think. I haven't seen the sign of a thinking government yet, which is trying to manage the economy. Uh, if you see the contradiction in what they are doing, for example, well, look at the central bank. Well, on that note. You heard him right? Yes. He said he has not seen any sign of a thinking government. And he's absolutely right. Because we saw it during the campaign. Tinubu refused to show up for any interview. He refused to show up for the presidential debate. And some people thought he was avoiding those things because, because he was feeling too big for Nigeria. No, it is because he could not articulate his thoughts together to come and, you know, present them to Nigerians to tell us what he wanted to do. That was why he was avoiding those platforms. And all these things were crystal clear, but some people chose to ignore. Of course, most people did not ignore. They saw those signs, and as such, they voted His Excellency Peter Obi. But you see those ones, we ignore all those signs. Those ones amongst the common men, we ignore those signs, we still vote APC. Now them, they give the political class power. Now them, they make sure, say, the people not be unite to stand together against these people. Now, see what they happen. Poverty don't envelop Nigerians. But I happy say now the people will vote for them. Now them they suffer pass. <laughs>
Now, another prominent Yoruba man that has come out to criticize Tinubu is the veteran actor Alhaji Karim Adepoju, also known as Baba Wande. Now, while people like Pa Adebanjo, Dele Farutimi, were saying the truth about Nigeria, pointing out the right candidate to rescue Nigeria. Yoruba actors gathered themselves, people like Karim Adepoju, uh, Jide Kosoko, they gathered themselves and began to play the ethnic card, encouraging Yorubas, Tiwanika Seo is our own who fought for, let's fight for our own. You. Now, Baba Wande, the comedian, is now the one telling Tinubu what to do. He said, ah, ah, this suffering too much now. Open border, let food come in. <laughs> Hunger won't kill him. Reduce fuel price. Eh. When well, we're telling you, support a man that has conscience, you refused. You said that tribe and religion now be everything to you for this life. And Nigerians did not let that slide. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This one said, Awa lokan, he go reach every one of you that supported him because of tribe and religion. Shege Pro Max. <laughs> and this tweet said, Useless elders, the sowed seed of discord and ethnic rivalry in Nigeria. Now they are saying nonsense. I'm telling you, so pathetic. This tweet said, Tinubu did not promise anybody anything. Una just they disturb him. <laughs> and this particular tweet said, All Nigerian leaders should have their voices heard on this issue. People are suffering severely. The life is so hard to millions of people. People are dying of hunger. <laughs> well, we still have an opportunity to salvage this situation. And we can still rescue ourselves from this impending doom. Where we don't even see small, small. We have a case at the tribunal. All eyes on the judiciary. Make you join us. Make we put eyes on the judiciary. Make them do the right thing. I'm talking about doing the right thing. Peter will be on his birthday yesterday. Instead of celebrating, visited different IDP camps in Mangu local government area of Plateau State. And these IDPs house over 18,000 displaced persons. And he donated food items and cash to them. Let's take a snippet from that visit. And that was Peter Obi there in an IDP camp in Mangu local government in Plateau State. And here on your screen, you can see him presenting a check to the people and several bags of rice behind him, uh, rice and other food items that he presented to the people. Now, in Buhari's eight years, I didn't see him visit any IDP camp. And ever since Tinubu came there, people have been dying in Plateau State and Benue State. He has been traveling all around the world. He went to France the other day, said he went for a meeting. He ended up just taking pictures. He didn't speak and he just flew to Kenya. Here is a picture, flew to Kenya and he has not found time to visit any IDP camp. And that is why people are now saying, is Peter Obi now the president? Because Obi is now the one doing presidential duties. What does this tell you? And it, it is just so pathetic that a country as big and as blessed as Nigeria has found herself in this kind of mess. But it is a good thing that all these things are coming up at this period. And the people of this country are seeing it. And the judiciary is also seeing all this. Even though we know that the judiciary is heavily compromised. Compromise has a limit. And if them say they will not compromise, not be their lives. We the people, they see them. And we will not make it easy for them to destroy our lives. But make quarrel for no day. We are urging the judiciary to do the right thing. Pass judgment according to waiting constitution talk and according to our electoral laws. We are not fools. We may not be lawyers, but we see everything where they happen. And we know what to expect 
if we follow constitution and we follow the electoral laws. And we expect, say, we not go do them. For the sake of those of us, we be common men for this country and for the sake of the children yet unborn. But until then... <laughs>